don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? This is the Big K Cop 360 here, and brace yourselves because today Nvidia is launching the GTX 1080 and the GTX 1070. Now, of course, this right here, it's not Big Daddy Pascal, but it's, you know, the second tier, GP104. Uh, the calm before the storm that is going to be GP100. So pretty much guys um, today uh, They are on twitch going to be launching the GTX 1080 and 1070 I believe it's going to be a paper launch So the cards won't actually be available until a little bit later I cannot actually confirm that for you, but to get uh, give you guys some preliminary specifications the GTX 1080 of course will be based on on the GP104 uh, GPU core, uh, it's going to be on a 16 nanometer process node. We all know this. It's going to have around 8 billion transistors. And the CUDA core count is very interesting because at the moment it's unknown. Now, usually with these cards, people kind of have an idea of how many CUDA cores uh it's gonna be on each gpu no one really knows with the gtx 1080 some are saying 2560 some are saying 2816 no one really knows so we're just gonna leave that for now however there are supposedly or there is gonna be supposedly be gddr5x and eight gigabytes of it on the gtx 1080 however on the 1070 the sweet spot card there's only going to be gddr5 not that there's a substantial difference between the two but it's nice to point out and that's quite interesting because for months now everyone's been saying oh you know and everyone including me sorry has been saying oh you know based on rumors oh you know gddr5x won't be ready blah 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 like it, it seems like i'm wrong here but once again I could be wrong, maybe it won't have GDDR5X when it launches later today, but who really knows? Now, of course, it'll be based on the 256-bit uh, memory interface, not too bad, not too shabby, uh, what we come to expect from NVIDIA, and of course, uh, how much power is it going to use? Well, allegedly, it's going to be using only one 8-pin uh power connector i'm not really sure about that i kind of expect there to be an eight and a six pin power connector because that's especially or that's what you expect from uh, a top end nvidia card but you never know we are going for uh, efficiency here we are we've seen a massive sorry drop in the in the process node the manufacturing node from 28 down to 16 so you never really know guys now uh, in terms of performance you know i'm talking about this now but the card's launching later today but there have been some performance leaks of the gtx 1080 and it apparently will be performing around um the area of a gtx 980 ti a little bit faster actually in terms of that now is that really surprising no not really i mean a 980 ti is quite a premium card it's like the best single gpu you can go out and buy so by this performing around there or a little bit better than it or a little bit worse whatever it is uh it's kind of interesting it's not really surprising i mean it's kind of typical i would have liked for it to have been a little bit better but i guess that's what we're going to be seeing with gp100 because the 980 ti it's not really a traditional like in like not even enthusiast it's not like a traditional um 80 like G gtx card if you get what i mean it's like a it's like a cut down titan pretty much so really 980 ti successor is going to be uh big daddy pascal when big daddy pascal gets cut down to a ti card so we're gonna have to be waiting for that so for now i guess this is fair enough now of course everything that i'm saying right now all of this may be irrelevant based on the price i mean if the gtx 1080 is significantly cheaper than the 980 ti then it won't matter that it performs around the price around the point sorry uh, of a 980 ti because if it's cheaper and it's substantially cheaper then people are still going to buy it people are going to love it now of course the gtx 1070 that's what i really want to know about and of course once again the cards are launching today but there's still a lot of hype i really want to know about the 1070 because as you all know last generation the gtx 970 was the card i mean even despite vram gate and um all this other shit with nvidia 3.5 gigs of ram funny shit that was uh, the 970 was the best selling card. I mean, I believe at one point it was the most popular GPU on Steam. Uh, with, I think 4.5 to 5% of users having one, which is absolutely insane. Now, of course, AMD did come back. They had the R9 290 slash 390, which at the moment is pretty much beating a 970 or is at least on par with it. Kind of depends. They kind of trade blows with each other. 
But AMD was able to bring it back a little bit uh, with their driver improvements and whatnot. But, you know, what it is what it is. So we're just going to have to wait and see, guys. I mean, there's a lot of hype to this. I'm really excited. I'm not sure if I'm going to be awake when this live stream is going down because, what, it's 4.30 p.m. right now. It's supposed to be on at, I think, like 6 p.m., um, Eastern time in America, so it's gonna be like fucking, I don't even know what time's gonna be here. I'm gonna be sleeping. That's what I'm gonna be telling you guys. I'll be sleeping. So, look, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. GDDR5X on the 1080, GDDR5 on the 1070, and the 1080 is supposed to be performing around the, um, the performance bracket, sorry, of a 980 Ti, which is good. I mean, we're seeing the card move one tier up. While the price goes a little bit down. Like, it's good stuff. Can't really complain about it. I kind of expected a little more. Uh, given the fact that we're seeing such a substantial shift. I mean, this is a new architecture. This is a new process node. I mean, it's almost half the process node. We're going from 28 to 16 here. It's a big jump. But I guess NVIDIA is going for more efficiency. And maybe we just going to have to wait for GP200. Uh, to really spice things up a little bit. Of course, GP200 is going to do fuck all because it's just a, an improvement over GP100. But maybe we're going to have to wait for Volta. We're going to have to keep on waiting and waiting and waiting. Everything's a waiting game. But look, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and the big K will see you later.